my Savior. Uh -huh. For he has regard for the humble state of his bond slave. All right now. For behold, from this time and all, generations will count me as blessed. All right. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Yes. And holy is his name. All right now. And his mercy is upon generation after generation. All right now. Toward those who fear him. All right. He has done mighty deeds with his arm. Uh -huh. He has scattered those who were proud in thoughts of their heart. Mm -hmm. He has brought down rulers from their thrones right. and has exalted those who were humble. Yes. He has filled the hungry with good things. Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. That was our prayer service. Amen. We're going to hand it over to our pastor, Reverend Allen. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.
say, not only is it finished, when I finish, I see you. Right, right, right. It's complete. Uh huh. You can stand and rejoice. Woo! Yes. yes. Hey, Amen. Somebody say, well, why do you got to go to church on Sunday? Mm -hmm. I don't have to. Hey, Amen. I don't have to. Well, but I wouldn't want to be nowhere else. All right, all right now. When I look back and see what all that he accomplished for me. Well, see, well, well. Everything he went through, he went through. All right now. Then by grace, he, uh, he gave all of that to me. Well, all right now, all right now. Where I should have been all right. the one hanging on the cross. All right, all right now. Even if I had hung that, it wouldn't have done no good. All right. Come on, come on. Woo! <laughs> 
That's Nobody. I want 
power to be the boss. And so just like Satan, he decided to set his throne above the throne of God. There's a question in here, it says, in Romans 5 and 1, it says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our suffering. Yes. Knowing that our suffering produced endurance. All right. mm -hmm. Endurance produced character. Okay. Character produced hope. Yes. And hope does not put us to shame because God loves God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit yes. who has been given to us all right, all right. amen we just want to talk about this the sovereignty of God now just in case some of you all didn't go to theology students. <laughs> the word sovereignty means that God is in control of all things. All right. God has not left anything to chance. Things don't happen by chance. Everything that happens happens because God is orchestrating. All right, all right. Yes. yes. Sometimes we, uh, or you can say this morning, sometimes we want to think things happen because we always say, something told me. <laughs> all right. Come on, guys. Something spoke to me. When you come to recognize that God is in control, you don't rely on something telling you something. Right. You know that it's the Holy Spirit that speaks to us. We can't stop the direction of how we should walk and how we should live. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is not by chance or by circumstance. God is in control. Now that's a question. It has to be asked. And that question is this. Either you or I is running this thing. All right. Or either God is running. All right. Come out and go straight. 
I want them at the banks of the Red Sea. Yes. You see, God leaves us where he wants us because wherever we find ourselves, it's to glorify God. Okay. Our lives is not our own All to right. glorify ourselves. Yeah. Our lives belong to God. And God must be the glory of God. Yeah. Yeah. So true. They got to the banks of the Red Sea. And they looked around and said, wait a minute, Moses the messed up. See, we love to play man. Moses the messed up. A lot of us ain't too big enough to stand up and blame God. All right. We might think it. Like God don't read our mind. God don't know what we think. But we ain't big enough to see it. Moses the messed up. He got us trapped. How many of you know? Your trap. All right. <coughs> Is God's ability. Right. Yeah. God puts you where He wants you because God's going. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I ain't learned to preach yet. Right. <laughs> so I don't know how to preach an Easter sermon. I'm going to be ignorant. I just preach what God healed me. Show you how great God is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And 
what you do? You look on TV mm -hmm. and you'll comb your hair like they comb their hair. Right. Right. You'll wear the clothes they wear because you're searching for something and what you're searching for ain't on TV. Mm -hmm. Amen. What you're searching for is not going to be in a magazine. It's not going to be on the latest video and it's not going to be on the latest song. That's right. What you're looking for is who you are. You can't find who you are because you're busy looking around and looking at everything. You can't find you. You can find yourself down here. Yeah. The only way you're going to find yourself, you got to look above. Yeah. All right, man. That's the reason the psalmist says, lift up your hands, yeah. oh ye gates, and be yeah. ye lifted up. If you really want to know who you are, all right. Bible tells us in the beginning, He created all things by the word of His mouth. Yes. If He spoke it, then it came from His mouth. And he didn't get up off the throne to do nothing. That's right. Man. See, when you're in control, you ain't got to. I, I remember when you haven't ever been on the bosses, and they got to yell and scream and threaten you and everything because they're not in control. But see, when a boss has authority, he understands that he can talk to you nicely. Because authority is not. Exuberating yourself. Authority is not trying to show you got authority. Authority is either you got it or you don't have it. Yes. 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 And when you have it, you don't have to get crazy. Right. God knows He's in control. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to get up out of His seat to create the world. No, right. He sat right there and just said, Let there be. Yeah. And when He said, Let it be, it had to be. And the only way you're going to get me out of the one, you got to push it. <laughs> and first, you 
about to drag me over there to the door. Because <laughs> I ain't going nowhere near an open door on the line. Amen. I don't need to do all that stuff. Why I don't need to do it? Because God will get the glory out of my life wherever he has me and wherever God takes you, that's where he needs you to be.
Not only do you recognize your salvation is by God, but you recognize that your loved one's salvation is in God's hands. And it'll free you from trying to grab them, drag them to church, make them get saved, say the prayers with them, go through all that changes. You will recognize that God is the Savior and not you. God is the deliverer and not you. God is the redeemer and not you. Thank 
control. You believe that. You also have confidence that what he started in you, he will complete. Yes, I said what he started in you, All right. he will complete. All right. He did predestined you so that you would not reach your destiny. Right. Your destiny is not being a doctor, being a lawyer, or being something else. Your destiny is to be with him. Right. Yes. Amen. All right. All right. Let me tell you something. Whatever kind of root you got down here is for down here. Yes. I wouldn't want to leave here with the best career there is and don't know Jesus. Because whatever you got here, don't stay right here.
Church, you don't know what living is until you give God the glory. To God get the glory of your life. When God gets the glory out of your life, you're not afraid of death. You're not afraid of dying. You're not scared of all these little things going on. Amen. You can stand over Oh man, if I tell him, oh Jesus, he's going to shoot me. <laughs> he can't shoot you. <laughs> if God don't give him. That's right. Amen. Amen. We have to recognize that God is doing what God wants to do. God is going to accomplish His purpose. His purpose is either with you or without you. That's right. I'm just looking at my seat. Some of y'all probably want to sit down right now. I said, His purpose is either with you.
God bless you. We pray that you have received the word of God. Amen. And that God has spoken to your hearts. Yes. Amen. Well, thank God for teaching you this here. Now, you know, when I grew up in church, they used to have the Easter programs and everything. All so right. we got some young folks that's going to be giving speeches and whatever. Amen. 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 So what we're going to do first is get our offering out the way. And that way we're going to get to our young people. Right. Amen. Amen. And, uh, and then after that, we have dinner in the back. Right. Amen. Amen. So this time we're going to have to keep them in the secretary. <laughs>
Okay, let's bless the people. Heavenly Father, we thank you. 